All right, guys, so today we are going to be landing the plane. So you have this activity to complete um, with Desmos. So you type your name in so that you can get credit for your assignment. Oh, here, let me fix this. Okay, then we're off. Get it, because it's a plane? Okay. All right, so this plane is introducing you to um, linear equations and slope intercept form specifically. So here's my plane and I need to land my plane on my runway. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of guess where I think maybe the plane will land because I want it to land on this runway here. So then I guessed and then, oh no, all my people in my plane died. Well, that stinks. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. So you can try it too. Now with a grid, it's a little bit easier to figure out where it would go because it's you have lines to kind of help you out. Okay, so maybe there, so we'll try that. Also, there's an equation up here too that can give you a hint. So let's see if that worked. Oh, dang it, I missed the middle of the runway. Okay, um, if I wanted to, I could retry it again. Notice that there's a 15 here, so maybe we'll put our plane up at 15. Let's see what happens. Yay! We did it! We landed our plane successfully and safely. Kept all of them people alive. Okay, so here's some different plane tracks, and you can see um, where we're going through the middle of the runway. And how these green and red line or green and blue lines are pretty darn close, but they don't get your plane safely down the middle of the runway. So the next few slides ask you some questions and try to get you to use your knowledge of what we just did to try to change this formula. Here's a hint for you. Um, this part is new where the plane is, but figuring out the slope of a line is not new. We've already figured out slopes of the lines. So try to think about where the corner of the boxes are. And that number always goes in front of your X value. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can always just play around with the number. Notice that when I deleted the two, it changed my path of my plane. So you can always guess some different numbers and see, oof, that's pretty close. Okay, so the whole idea is that you can play around with this and see where your plane needs to go to be on the right path. Or maybe maybe it's a negative slope. Ooh, no, because it's going uphill, so it's gonna be puff, puff, positive. So you can try this one, and then there's a few more for you to try. Um, so that is our plane activity. This one, you have to type in all of your information, which we know that you're getting used to, but it's in the form y equals mx plus b. You have to replace the m value. Remember, m stands for slope, and the b value is your beginning. Where does your plane start? Okay, so try this and see how you do. Have a great day. Bye.